It's Cruise Day! Hey y'all! Boarding y'all! We are boarding Ovation of the Seas today to head to Alaska. Never been to Seattle oh, before. We got to Seattle yesterday and that video of our one and only day in Seattle will be linked down below. We are waiting for the shuttle because this hotel also has a shuttle which we're very grateful. $15 a person, not too bad. Not right? too bad. Okay. Beach so walking. If, if you've never been cruising before, whatever hotel you stay in at your embarkation port, be sure and check out the hotel because they might have a shuttle to the port terminal where the ship is. We're getting our bags together and we have to be down to the shuttle at 9.40. Right. to right. the terminal. A caveat. Yes. Alaska Air. Amazing. Amazing service from Dallas Fort Worth uh, to Seattle. Amazing. The flight was perfect. The crew was amazing. Just want to let you know. We're packing our bags and heading downstairs. We will see you we'll at, see you at the, the terminal. Port terminal. Outside the hotel where the shuttle is. So this is what you'll see when you walk out. You sign up at the desk and they will put you on the list and then they'll tell you when to be down here and then they'll load your bags and this is the shuttle. We're fixing to get on and head to the port. We are right at the terminal. He dropped us off right here. So this is what you'll see. Everyone loading up, coming up and this is our shuttle guy. It was amazing service. These nice gentlemen have come over to load up our luggage. And of course, JJ tipped them nicely because they work hard. They will haul them around here up to the port and take them in for you. It is 1024 and we are to board at 1030. So we are right on time. This is the terminal, beautiful, beautiful. We walked right in and they told us to have our boarding pass and our passport out. So I have to stop filming so I can get my paperwork out, y'all. There's JJ. Good morning, good morning. Heading up. Honestly, she didn't even look at my passport. She looked at my set sail pass and uh, at JJ set sail pass and sent me right through. And they just told me no videos in the security area. So we're going off. Uh, all right. So there are some health questions. They kind of got wiped out if you filled them out. Um, uh oh, so yes, we did. Uh, are you vaccinated for COVID? Yes. Uh, have you had a booster shot? Yes. All right. Uh, no one can be pregnant, right? Correct. And uh, no flu-like symptoms? No. Oh, okay. Uh, your passport? Yeah, sure. Come over here. We are all checked in and heading to the ship. And there's the sign right there that says to the ship. Although there's people right here waiting. 1030. Thank you. If y'all heard that, she just asked us what was our check-in time, and she said that's the line right there. So we're heading, I think, yep. onto the ship. Onto the ship. Woohoo! Now we are outdoors, Woo. and it's super noisy. Beautiful. But there is that beautiful girl in all her glory. And you have the option to take photos as you're coming through, all the photo ops, as they say. And there's the gangway right there. It's like a winding. You know, you go like up, up and around, winding gangway. Do they call it a serpentine? Serpentine? He's using big words. <laughs> After being on Oasis class ships, you would think I would be used to the hugeness of these ladies, but I'm always impressed and excited. Thank you. All the way back, the back of the ship at 270. So we came on the most smooth embarkation we've ever experienced, right? Wouldn't you say yeah, that? I would. We're going all the way back though to do muster first, and I highly suggest that you do muster very first when you get on board. In fact, I will link a video below with the top five things to do right when you get on board. Time for some Windjammer. We thought about going to the Slurian Bistro or the um, 270 Cafe, but we just love all the choices at Windjammer. We're going all the way 
to the back now to get one of the good outdoor seats, hopefully. And then we'll come back and get our food. Yes, did we find it? We found it. The outdoor seating on Windjammer. Oh my goodness, y'all. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this. I have the sunny day in Seattle. This is the best seating. Best seating on the ship. This is at the very back of the Windjammer, y'all. When you come into the Windjammer, if you want to sit outside, you gotta get out here quickly and get your seat and then go back and get your food. And probably have someone save your seat here because, I mean, with this kind of view, what are you gonna do? You're never, I mean, these seats will be taken 24-7. good didn't seem to be a lot of meat today on the buffet we're just walking around as you can see the deck and we did some potential thumbnails off the back end of the ship and took you some b-roll of the little pandas and of the bumper car area um, which they were just playing pickleball so that's a really cool area and we'll, we're gonna try to do bumper cars at some point. So now we're just walking around, actually trying to find a chair because it is one o'clock and cabins aren't supposed to open till around two. Already at 1 30 and it's what time JJ? 136. 136, so we'll see. So we're having to wind yep. around? Yep. And then take a oh right. Oh my. Then take a right. Oh my. Nope. Nope. Well. Well, we're lost. We turned left when we should have turned right. So these are the elevators we take from home. <laughs> Did y'all hear him? He said, these are the elevators we take from now on, closer opposed to, to the ones on the other end of the ship. Right oh, look at that. We come off the elevator right there. Maybe? I don't know. The room number I'm seeing is 244, and we're 292. Here we go. Yay! success and JJ found our cards that's where they'll be well, let's see if they work of course they all work yeah woohoo live from the ovation yeah we need to ask everybody if they're here for ours we already sailed away y'all look at the at the wake view there we go there's a sail away crew come on here we are, we're back. Sorry y'all for the technical difficulties. Y'all can see Seattle. Well, unfortunately, they started sailing away and didn't tell anyone. I didn't even hear the horn. No, they didn't blow the horn or anything. So we were down here when they told us that they were gonna sail away and we were already out in the ocean. Right. We have a Facebook group, y'all, that's called All Things Wagner Sail Away Crew. So if you like to cruise and you wanna join in, talking about cruises on all cruise lines, not just Royal Caribbean. We happen to be on Royal Caribbean and we like Royal Caribbean, but 
all cruise lines we talk about. We got us a wake view, which so, is pretty good. Next stop, Juno. Woohoo! Hey, love y'all. Have yep. a great week. We'll be seeing you along the way. Yep, and look out for the vlogs coming up. Peace. Wow, that's a pretty view. So, the live was a flop. <laughs> if you tried to join us, we're sorry. We had technical difficulties. Beyond our control. By the time we got down there, it was, we were already sailed away. Yeah, it was very <laughs> anticlimactic. It was very uncelebratory. <laughs> right. So we did a little short live, I don't know what was it, maybe 15, 20 minutes. It was beautiful view. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it was beautiful view. I'll link the live link below. It's uh, 4.47 here, hey. and I'm hungry again. I didn't eat a whole look, lot for lunch. Look, look. Bumped out. On You're on a cruise. I'm going to go eat. She... <laughs> Again. We'll check in with y'all at dinner. So, our first walk and talk. Oh, and he's dancing. My. Coming back to life. I'm getting a second yeah, wind. He wanted a nap second this afternoon. Wind, baby. I got my old man nap. I'm getting a second wind. Well, okay. We are hungry and it is just 527. Yeah, my hungry. stomach doesn't think it's 527. We're hungry because we ate like uh, four hours ago. <laughs> my stomach <laughs> thinks it's like <clears throat> 7 o'clock, I guess, because. I'm hungry. Windjammer, here I come. I am super excited about my walk created fresh live Asian food. Fresh live? Fresh live. Live and fresh. Live and fresh. Live and fresh. In a walk. Walk. So walk, you walked walk. over there to have him cook something in I the walk? I walked over there to the walk. And I, then to go with it, I got focaccia bread. Oh, well, you know. It doesn't go. But it, you know. It's all right. And polenta, baked polenta. There you go. We'll see. Enjoy. After a little bread pudding. Oh, and apricot. And you don't like apricots. I don't know. How long have we been together? 28 years, 20 years. 25, and you don't I, know that? I didn't know he like did not like apricots. <clears throat> I like bring the bread pudding, and he, that's what he said. <clears throat> I just tasted a piece of fruit that I've never had before. That I don't like. I'm like, what? It has like raisins, it's bread pudding, raisins in it, and apricots. Apricots! Mm. <laughs> Caused me to lose my hair. Now we're going to guest services because there is absolutely nothing on our app for my calendar. There's an app and you have the ship's calendar where it lists everything and then you have my calendar where you've put things on your calendar. Nothing on our calendar. Nothing. We have two dinner specialty dining already scheduled. We have a ship excursion already scheduled. Nothing. Wow. Our first sunset at sea out of Seattle headed to Alaska. And I want you to look at this terrain, folks. Unbelievable. It is beautiful. I just came in from outside, freezing. This is the deck view. It's beautiful, beautiful, the mountain. You just saw a sunset, the sunset out there from JJ. It was beautiful, but it's also extremely cold. Oh, it's not cold. It it's was a cold. little breeze. It was cold. We came up here to Voom with the excellent guys at the Voom desk, which is the Wi-Fi for World Caribbean. And he did something magical. I have never seen done before. He told me to, log out and log back in. It's like a reboot, like IT tells you to reboot, restart, and it worked. JJ too. Did yours work too? We're good. <sighs> On our app. This is exhausting. Wow. Super complicated. Glad that's solved. And this is the music hall where I read online some guy was in here all the time because everything in here was good. So there'll be like trivia. They just had trivia in here and live bands, which is why we're here. And there's a second floor up there, second floor over there that you can see down. And I found this really good looking guy here and I'm hoping he'll let me sit with him. I am happily married. I think I can take her. Ha! <laughs>
had so much weird food, fried food, just like heavy food today that I'm all heavy fooded out. The music hall was cool. We tried to give you some snippets, right, of that. They were a good band. They were British. I didn't I didn't ever record them talking. They were British. And so we couldn't understand half what she was saying. <laughs> do y'all do that? You know you do that. Plus it was like muffled, you know, in the microphone. And she had a kind of a, a high nasal voice. She would talk and it had the accents and it was high nasally. Anyway, she sang really good though. She did really well. <laughs> she sang really good. We're just having a little fun. You didn't get a soda. You were gonna go get a soda with one of your diamond drinks. Cause you're fancy. That's how I roll, baby. Sea day tomorrow. Okay, so we'll be doing things around the ship. Uh, we're doing iFly. We know we're doing iFly because we have appointments. iFly, that'll be awesome. And we're out now, really, peace out. Are we really? I think we're really. Are you just testing me? I just like to do this. Peace out. Peace.